on both teams, particularly from this Hayabusa. But when it comes to standard play, Myanmar, we know that they are reliable. Yeah, actually, yes. Yeah, speaking of real, reliable, actually, for Myanmar, that is uh, their uh, advantage against Philippines here. For Philippines, uh, they're kind of experimental in terms of the gameplay. They can do a split push. They can do a uh, total neglect uh, in terms of the rotation of the middle lane. But for Team Myanmar, they're just there. They just know when and where they should do the team fight and then uh, turning things around. So far for Philippines, uh, we have Lusty here on the Atlas. We know that Lusty is one of those good tankers for the majority of this uh, the invitational so that is going to be the edge for them i'm just uh, thinking that the for myanmar they should be more aggressive because i guess that is the downside or maybe uh, the um, kryptonite of philippines in terms Ooh. of rotation revo not the best cycle line, but they are on to yellow flash this time they jump in forward phantom steps get away he's trying to ring around the rosy and in fact yellow flash will survive the, the side steps from yellow flash and true flash at this moment wakes one big so few another side oh no, he is finally taken out but few will have to sacrifice himself and philippines have been bled dry in that execute in that skirmish however flap tz making it good for philippines by trading off and taking that orange buff yeah, that was a good uh, um, uh, answer there for Philippines. Though we have the three players down already, or uh, three kills for uh, Myanmar onto this game. So we talked about um, the aggressiveness that Myanmar has to do against Philippines. Uh, that's uh, good for them because uh, Philippines right now they're uh, down with a little uh, with a little gold against uh, Philippines. So for Philippines, they need to be safe. We know Cartesi he's a kind of player that is actually. Uh, alive for uh, the duration of the whole game so if a uh, is isn't down or if Cartesi isn't brought down by Myanmar it's kind of scary for Myanmar oh wow the thunder if I don't know if you're hearing that but it's actually so loud <laughs> in here and now it kind of sets up for a little bit of a chaos in around here the river now we can see Myanmar leading by by a lot actually when it comes to the when it comes to the kills, but when it comes to EXP, it's it, it's a it's a stampede for Philippines. So if you're looking at the kills right now, it's definitely on the side of Myanmar. If you're looking at the gold, mm -hmm. it's only a little bit, which kind of tells me that there is something that uh, Team Philippines are doing correctly when it comes to the EXP right now, because they are leading by so much, by about 700 or or even more. Yeah, and actually for this Hayabusa, that is uh, a good thing for uh, Philippines. You know that Hayabusa, he needs to scale up in terms of the level for him to put down this um, uh, this guy actually. Although for your uh, team in Mar, we could see on their um, uh, um, spells right now, they are in for uh, the four mana flicker plus a purify. So it will be difficult for Lusty to engage for a team fight. But then again, we have Royal Milktown by the hands of this few of Team Philippines. Oh, but the stun connects onto few. They do have the damage. And they hit up with three, zero, and one. It's gonna be the, the bane of Team Philippines at this point. There's a running meme in the Philippines, uh, Chantal, I know you know this, that Philippines, with mm -hmm. their the representatives of Philippines being brand esports, they have this unique um, weakness. Or their their Achilles heel is the Selena pick. And we are seeing that now from Team Myanmar with 3-0-1 record. Sham 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 up top versus Blap TZ. We know that this is not Uranus, uh, not Uranus' game to play. Turtle will be taken by the carry. Royal Mid commits the last insanity just to fend off Team Philippines. But this prompts Philippines to fight back. Good thing. There's a stun coming out from Hiccup. And that's that's the red sign for Philippines. Yeah, actually for uh, Philippines, what's good about uh, this team is uh, they're actually um, removing Cartesi on the picture. So it uh, it gets to the point that Team Myanmar doesn't have the idea that uh, Cartesi is actually preparing for the later game. But then again, for Myanmar, they're just uh, all over the place. So far, they're dictating uh, this uh, game against Philippines. For DK, he is ready for the job. But then again, uh, there's no player for Team Philippines that he's going to drive through. We have Lusty on this Atlas, guys. So the damage is, th is there for Yellow Flash. Speak of Yellow Flash, we could see him doing wonders for Myanmar. So uh, it's going to be the battle of Cartesi and Yellow Flash, I guess, for this 
this game but then again the middle internet is almost low is actually destroyed by Myanmar on this game all to the middle you can see the feather there strike just fending up Myanmar by the way this is few being the utility support the DK with the too much high rage but there's no follow-up from team Myanmar the last insanity far too late Philippines are already out of there and in fact they're turning it around Royal Milk will have to back down Lusty just a little bit far too forward but not punished by Myanmar because as good as that ultimate was from DK there wasn't any follow-up from uh, Myanmar to actually use. Yeah, you know what, Wolf, for uh, this both these, you could see uh, the discipline or uh, they're scared of having a team fight actually because uh, that was a potential team fight. Uh, we could see uh, two players uh, low on life for Myanmar, but they uh, didn't actually go Turtle. to engage. Mm -hmm. Same goes with the Philippines. But then again, for the Philippines, you know that they have the uh, Hayabusa on their lineup, they just went for a third push on the top lane. And speaking of which, we have a level nine Hayabusa already out of this one. So I guess for Carl TZ, that is a good thing for him because. No, we know that Carl Tizi is just a good player if he doesn't get skilled for the escape. But then again, here comes the turtle being taken here by Team Philippines. Lusty is down. We have Repo with that contract Inferno. A trade. DK is also down for Team Myanmar. But then again, Royal Milk with that immortality. Repo goes in for the dive. It's going to be a disengage. We can see Hiccup actually throwing that arrow. You with that feather airstrike uh, and a kill. Actually, on this game, Carl TZ versus Yellow Flash. No ultimates for these both players, and it's gonna be a disengage. That was amazingly done from few. And you can honestly say that that's easy to look at. But when you're playing the Farsa, you have to be mindful of your uh, position. Yellow Flash now gonna be slain by Carl TZ, and they get a bonus kill, including the X Borg, the Team Myanmar. They, uh, they, they double, they, they second guessed. Recalling back to base, and because of that, Carl TZ was able to punish. Jumping from DK, going on to Lusty, hiccup up with a follow up of arrow. Mm. In comes Sham. A little bit of fatal links in there from Lusty. Lusty gets away. It's still Let's alive. He gets away. Yeah, he gets away against uh, those uh, three players of y Myanmar. And uh, speaking of that, for Carl TZ, that is going to be a one zero three with the bounty hunter spell. I guess for uh, Myanmar, they need to stop uh, Carl TZ right away, or else Carry is going to be mispositioned, or he is a uh, he will be a complex situation. But then again, we have DK down. The initiator of Myanmar is down onto this game. Team Philippines is on the map control because of this their turret push. Actually, we have Cartiz again getting hiccup. Or we have Cartiz on a roll. He's just uh, having the game of his life. This kid showing us his how good he is as a mobile legends player for Team Philippines. Royal Milk low on life here on the bottom. He goes for the flicker out. But then again, Rebo secures the kill Turtle for Philippines. Flap TZ just keeping tabs of the orange buff. A uh, moment and Team Philippines are just you are you are you said it. They are controlling the map now and Myanmar, they're not finding real estate. Ooh. The thunder it, it, <laughs> the it, thunder. It, it, it's just celebrating how Philippines is dominating right now with four thousand in the back. They wanna go for flap easy. Not the easiest target while bottom lane, Rebo was already able to push the second uh, turret in the bottom lane. Now the turtle. That's going to go the side of Philippines. That's their second turtle out of the three, which puts them ahead by so much at this point. Uranus is a non-factor. In fact, Kaltizi will poke. Lusty is prepared for this as well as Rebo. And if Sham 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 overstays, he's going to be taken out. Yeah, for uh, Philippines, you can see actually uh, BOE or uh, Blade of Despair here for Carl TZ. That what? is one good item, actually. But then again, DK comes in for the dive. Here comes the last insanity. Not enough damage from Team Myanmar. Turret is down, but here comes the Falling Star Wars, guys. The double mage first here of the Philippines. Just giving us the potential of their team to actually get majority of the players. Here comes the Shadow Kill. Double kill, actually. For Carl TZ on to the Hayabusta. This team Philippines, they're just aggressive. They're just moving forward. The progress is just there. Take it on second turret and then this time around, it's going to be the inhibitor turret against Myanmar. It's so easy for Philippines to do that because there's not much for Myanmar to do. They don't have the best way clear at this point. They don't have something like a Farsa that Team Philippines has to, to, to clear out the minion wave. 
like what they're doing right now. Look at this from long distance view, making it hard for Myanmar to even position themselves around that area. Flap easy, gonna be caught by DK, but it's not gonna be. A Okay, so for this one though, it's gonna be 13 6 on the score. 10 minutes into our game time, we have Team Philippines on the edge in terms of every aspect into our game. So that is a good factor for them. But then again, for Myanmar, they have the carry, which is known to be a good hero in terms of the late game. And for Royal Make, that is the immortality plus, plus the bloodless act. So I guess for Philippines, all they need to do is to seal the deal. We have instances actually for uh, Philippines to actually kind of um, lack in terms of closing the game so that is a problem for them but for uh, this kind of performance Team Philippines is just here to win the game again for Myanmar they need to activate this carry for them to win the for uh, for them to actually turn the tables around but for Philippines they're starting with this lord objective this is the level one lord guys it is a good of an edge for Philippines to take this one because uh, they just need a certain here because uh, they don't have uh, the long range or actually a kind of here that goes in uh, to go for a tower lock because the majority of them for the physical or the melees they're just on uh, um, it's kind of difficult for them because uh, Myanmar has the, uh, the this uh, Kufra for the ladder. But then again, Philippines securing this level one Lord on this game. We have DK getting ready for the counter initiation, but it's kind of difficult for Myanmar to counter out this uh, Team Philippines strategy. They're just over the place. We have the level one Lord on the top lane. Mid the lane turret is down. Feathered airstrike by few. Although for Yellow Flash, what's good about this hero is that he has the wind of nature. If he goes on par, or if he goes uh, for a um, team uh, fight against uh, this Hayabusa, he could be able to negate that. But for how long? That is going to be the question. So far, Yellow Flash kills Cartesia, actually. That was against three players of Team Myanmar. Although for the Lord, he's just marching on the side of Team Myanmar. We have Cham 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 on his Tornadoes just taking the, dirt, uh, the damage of Philippines, though. This uh, Myanmar just uh, moving forward. Flap TZ on the side lanes. We have Lusty on his lap. Atlas getting ready for this crowd control. Although DK is just there zoning out Kibo minus the damage for Team Philippines. It's going to be two players down for Team Philippines against Myanmar. Myanmar on top for the team fight. But then again, we have the inhibitor turret down uh, for uh, Team Myanmar for Philippines. That is a good edge. For them. Speaking of which, we have a 9k gold uh, lead here for uh, Team Philippines. You have you doing that feathered airstrike just to zone out the players. We have this Athena shield actually for the Atlas. Top part for the game is the 9k gold of this Hayabusa. But then again, we talk about Ben Marley uh, on the early part of the game. Mm -hmm. They're just meant to for the team fight so the longer this game lasts the more that this ha this carry has the potential to turn the tables around hello chantelle i'm back yeah hello yeah welcome right. back <laughs> um I, I was able to still watch the inside the lobby I was able to uh, still even even if uh, i my voice was disconnected i think i was able to see the defense from myanmar However, it's not looking that well, but I do agree with you. Carry can still turn turn things around, but if Krautizi just keeps on doing what he's doing right now, which is not being caught by his opponents, it's going to be harder and harder for Myanmar to deal with it. It's it's already hard at this point. Like 4-1 and 4 for Krautizi, that just means that he's so good at evading Team Myanmar, even with all the setup that they have. They DK over steps and it gives up. <laughs> down chap 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 in trouble gets away the turret into the bottom lane is solo and philippines will just transfer into the middle where the minions are and myanmar they are getting bombarded from long distance royal milk it gives a better there's strike rebo as well as wow. that easy takes them down and now it's trouble for myanmar chantel how can they defend this I guess for uh, Myanmar, uh, they just need to counter out the initiation, but then again, speaking of initiation, we have Lusty uh, taking down the Selena of Team Myanmar. Zab, 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 low on life, guys. Yellow Flash is down, and it's going to be a total wipeout for Philippines and actually winning that game number one.